is heavily guarded. Rolo's men, caged like plump hens. My thanks. I'm in your debt. Let's give the ravens a feast of Saxon blood! Now we discuss the terms of the kidnap.
Your axe arm is strong, Rolo. Never doubt me, Raven Feeder. These Saxon king slaves did. I need someone with a swift wave steed in good repair to bring the Lady Estrid across the sea to Frankia. Another kidnap scheme. Estrid is unshakable. All right then. Let we two triumph where one failed. I need you stout-hearted in this, whatever your passions for Estrid. We had our time together. Now that's done. I will not fail you here, nor her. We will meet with your men inside Colchester, on the night of the Lama's Festival. Meadow sweet in my hair. They say it will bring you your true love. Let us dance. Then perhaps you will see he has been beside you all along. Penyasino to be dead. Is Nasiku mitanzone. Shed as when a pussy assured that. How are your people, Rolo? Recovered and ready for what tonight holds? Gerhild's treachery was a blow. Few were surprised it came to that, only that her dark ways took such a brutal turn. Put that aside. We're ready now. What would you have of us? Wait for my signal when I approach Estrid. That is your time. I am your axe, Eivor. Night will fall soon. Then is our moment to strike. They used to sacrifice John Barleycorn, so that his seed might fall on the fertile land and grow the grain anew. I don't care for that pagan pomp. There is just one god now, and he gives us everything we need, in this life and the next.
down, you Saxon dogs. The Lady of Essex is ours. Coming with me. Oh, oh, desist, you foul Dane! Guards! Oh, woe unto me! Put me down! Food and spirit. You will fool a child with that howling. Unhand me, fiend! Will none of you Saxons save me? To walk, I think. Aren't we? Oh, what a thrill! My heart is racing! Be glad it still beats at all. Your screaming drew half the guards in Colchester down upon us. I wanted to give a good performance. My father always said I was quite the actor. I won't deny your enthusiasm. Did you not have even a little fun? To steal away a princess. It did give a thrill. A woman fights bravely against her abductors. Yet, what will they do with me now? Is my virtue safe with you? It's not in danger. It is done. And all that stands between me and my home now is a foaming ribbon of surf and silt. You did well, Rolo. You and your people. Are you ready to sail? Loki's hissing sun churns the waters between our coasts. We'll need time to rest as we wait for fairer weather. Have a care, then. Alfred's soldiers will be looking for Estrid, even if beer stands will not. Now's not the time for such worries, A4. Tonight, we celebrate! Let's get you some mead. Beerstan will meet you northeast of Colchester tomorrow. You have earned all my husband promised, and more. Come find me, if you like, away from these reveling Danes. I should find Piston. No doubt he's hunting again. Yes! <laughs> A ruse worthy of the trickster Loki. They're even stolen by us mere mortals. 
made me feel young again. And I have you to thank. You believed me, though I was a coward. Won't make that mistake again. I am proud of us. We did a good thing for Estrid and her lord. Maybe now we can all be happy. Do you see soon? A man, his dog, and the outdoors. What greater pleasure can there be than this? El Nebelo for Dido. No one is. Beerston, Estrid said you'd be here. Eivor, dear heart, you who drew back the bow of Eros and reunited me with my one true love. Have your things asked why you do not look for Estrid? Pish. They have asked, yes. I said it was hopeless. Then I lay upon my couch, sobbing and wailing. A pretty show. That may not be enough. Tut tut. The wind is soft upon our faces, and I am far from the whispering doors of Colchester. Come, let's hunt! What are we hunting now? Boar! A majestic animal, don't you think? Driven by a fierce fire, blazing eyes, and sword tusks. I once knew a strong armed shield maiden who rode a boar into battle. She named it Bristlebolt. How wondrously strange. Your tales are worthy of the hearing. We'll not ride our boars, but eat them. A feast in Alvida's honor. A feast for your mistress. Birsten, if this ruse falls apart, King Alfred will strip you of your title. Our alliance will be worthless. Have no fear, I shall be discreet. We will eat and sup at my hall with a few friends and family. It is there our friendship will be sealed. So soon after Lamas, will people there not recognize me? No, you are just one more Dane. And in that chaos, who remembers anything but the screams of dear Estrid? 
These are your lands. I trust in your judgment. And how is Alvida? She is a firebrand. We have rekindled our love as if we were teenagers. Even Ellerich is a welcome addition. A younger brother to me, yet more alike to a son. The things I should like to teach him. Ah, this is the spot. The best boar here. table won't fill itself. You will serve my love well, Hog. A haunch worthy of her arrival. did well, Eivor. A good hunt, Beerston. And enough for one day, I think. Even my thanes will not go hungry with this catch, and they are as voracious as wolves snatching at my carcass. They may give you grief, but I have been nothing but amused. They're a welcome change to worrying Jarls and piss sudden politics. You have brought us all true happiness, Eivor. I thank you from the bottom of a heart full up with joy. Beerstan. The heart hound who sought his true love by searching the sad haven of his memory and finding her there. Beautifully said, my friend. Beautifully said. Come, Percy, you hapless hound. Barely a boar worried. I do not know why I keep you in my employ. What are your plans for Essex and your family? There is much that is new in this old fling. Alvida is changed. The girl I fell in love with lies behind years of hardship. And Ellerich? A soft lad, but with a heart as stout as his sister's. Their closeness does them both credit. The way he looks at me is often strange. His eyes furtive and downcast, like a hound waiting for his master's crop. It worries me, to be honest. Can I be both a brother to him and a love to his sister? Give him time, Beerston. He had his sister to himself all his life. Yes, yes. But tell me, Abel, did you succumb to my flighted bird's charms? She can turn one a-tremble with her eyes. You're talking of Estrid? Do not be coy. It does not suit you. Are you jealous, Beerston? 
after casting her aside. Of course not. I could not be happier. I only wondered for her sake. All that to say, I am only glad she has found a chance at happiness again. Lord knows I could not give her that. But these are grim thoughts, and I will not let them lay their cold grip upon me. Tonight, we feast and celebrate. Never used to stir the soul as the hunt did. But now my Alvador is here. All is changed. Oh, oh Bearston. You promised we would never be apart, not for one waking or sleeping moment, and already you're sneaking out to hunt. <laughs> for the feast, sweetling. We owe our mutual friend a great debt, one that I promised to repay over suckling pig and ale. Sister, have you forgotten where you are? I have a right to happiness, Elreach. Or am I to play nursemaid forever, you ungrateful pup? Happiness, yes. But you embarrass yourself nightly, heaving and sweating with this hamhock. Hold your tongue, boy. Lest we both speak our truths. What truth have you to speak? That you've returned to this fickle man who abandoned you years ago for a Frankish pet? A woman he paid this dame to abduct in that lamish shadow play? Mind yourself, boy. Or that you let him sniff and paw you and take him to your bed on the promise of nothing? The whole of Essex whispers now. He's married still. His wife freshly stolen, and you are no more than... Is... I am the mother of his child, you whelp! Child? Alvida? Please, my boy, I... I... I will never forgive you for this. Never! <laughs> my lord! Joyous news! God smiles upon us this very day! Estrid has been found by Alfred's men. They ride to her rescue as we speak. I will not let this plot be undone. Nothing is safe till they are away to Frankia. I will fix this, and one day I will call on you, and you will come. You can count on it, my friend. I wanted to tell you so many... Estrid is so close to freedom. I hope I'm not too late. Lork, stand by Estrid. Guard her with your life. 
if she's taken all is lost for us and Beeston. Come, lady. It would not do for them to take you back. Watch out! Fuck! Hold it now! Estrid, I promised I would free you of your life in Wessex. Frankia awaits your return. Go now, with Aegir's blessing. I will miss you, Eivor. When winter has passed, summer will come, and wind you in a flowered skirt. For you are beauty, and shall not wither. Goddess Freya, give me more of that. Come, take care of her, Rollo Stoutheart. And if you find yourself on England's shores again, I will expect you in my hall. Good. They are safe. Beerston got a send of the Barrican, and Esther is to Frankia. I should return to Ranvi.
than be one of us? Tekla, you look like you wrestled a bear. Is something wrong? God save her. I was robbed on the road between here and Lincoln. By who? Did you get a good look at them? They were Saxons, I know that much. A pack of them lifted four barrels of my ale and all the coin I had on me. The biggest one pulled me off my horse and stuck his mouth in my ear, said, Tell Guthban we expected him home soon. Guthban? That's battlebone in the Saxon tongue. Are you sure? That's what he said. It's not someone here, is it? Not that I know of. I do not begrudge us taking in orphans, Eivor, but some of these Saxons, we hardly know them. You ought to ask around. A good idea. You take care of yourself. Let me see to this. Thank you, Eivor. Go, Sunan. Hey there, how are you? Quat Tidan, the Eivor. In Essex, I played a matchmaker and a heartbreaker. An easy way to forge an alliance. But let us stick to war and diplomacy. Understood. Thank you, Eivor. I want to see the Alliance map. What about Lincolnshire? A rather boisterous man named Hunwald arrived recently, wishing to speak with you. On a matter of great importance, he said. Where is he now? Down at the docks, carousing with my scouts and scaring the fish from the river. He waits for you with great eagerness. He sounds charming. I will meet him at once. Protect your ears. Careful, Grandmother. Something fell from the sky to Earth like it has been thrown by Odin himself. A strength he no doubt wishes he possessed. No danger remains. But look. It revealed something hidden in the mountainside. Hmm. Looks almost like a door. If it is, then it's the door to something that I have long been searching for. May I ask you for a kindness, Dringur? My name is Eivor of the Raven Clan, and that depends on how kind you need me to be. Will you grant me a home while I investigate the door? Eivor of the Raven Clan. I don't make a habit of sheltering strangers. My name is Hilderan. There. 
Now we are no longer strangers. Please. If I am right, then this is Freya's gate. Allow me to stay, and I will help you discover the treasures that lay on the other side. Very well. I'll give you a small piece of land to make a home on, and supplies from our raids to build with. Thank you, kind Eivor. The gods smile on you. I may be kind, but I am no fool. Everyone must pull their weight, and I expect no less from you. A fair rule, and one I can easily follow. Eivor the kind. A welcomed visit. Like what you see. You've certainly made this space your own. But how does this help you open a stone door? It is a shrine to Freya. We will need her favor if we wish to reveal the hidden treasures. Oh, it's we now, is it? I told you, Eivor. You will want to see what is on the other side. Now come. Freya demands combat before she will aid us. For a moment, I thought you meant for me to fight you. Fear not. I can handle myself. I cannot possibly fight you. I would kill you. You could try. Attack me. <clears throat> now get up, and let's give Lady Freya a fight. Fight harder, Eivor! Watch. Come at me again! What magic is this? And how do you fight with the strength of a berserker? I can teach you, Eivor. But first, we fight!
I've seen many strange things, but nothing like this. What magic do you possess? I've not seen a seer fight like that. I am no seer. I am what you see before you. An old warrior with the knowledge of secrets. If that was not magic, then what was it? That was a battle meditation. You entered Hugerheim, the mind's realm. It is a secret form of training that not many know. You can attack full force with no fear of injury. And yet you know this training. You're glad to have let me stay now, aren't you? Very much. Tell me, what part does the amulet play? It is a vessel. It needs to be filled with the energy created in battle. But it will only work with this type of shrine. They can be found all over Mercia. I have many questions still. I promise you will get answers. But first, I have marked a shrine location on your map. Once there, enter a meditation. The amulet will pull you into Hugerheim. What happens when I finish my training? Then, you return to me. Very well. Have you met Valka? Something of you reminds me of her. Go now, kind Eivor, and train. Survey the area soon. Friends, My sitting beside a carefree river. I'm here for the mead, Lord Boy. You may think this odd, but our lively chatter here has inspired in me a short poem. May I recite it for you? Go on, Lord the Boy. Make me tremble. Oh, indeed, I shall try. I call it Ode to a Hungry Flame. Another skull come to join us? Me? Oh, goodness, no. I'm no scold, no. Just a humble nobleman with an interest in versification. An amateur, really. Shall I continue? I'm not here to judge your poems, Lord. Speak your purpose or down your meat. Y yes Sorry. I have come with the hope of meeting Eivor, the great warrior of this clan. If such an audience is possible. Every warrior in this clan deserves a song or saga, Lord. Why Eivor? Because her name alone dries the tongues of my enemies. If such a hero fought beside me, I'd fear nothing. What is your name, Lord? I am Hundwald, loyal son of Lord Hunbeor, the current elderman of Lincolnshire. May God keep and cure him. You see, my father is ailing, and in his delirium, evil men have corrupted his judgment. A secret and powerful order, if the whispers are true. Only a month ago, without forewarning, 
Mercian soldiers chased me, his only son, from my home. I know not why, but I do know my father would never have ordered my exile. Outcast from your family, that is a hard road to walk. Could one of your clan help me return to Lincoln? March beside me through the city gates and set me at my father's noble feet once again. If I knew my father was ill and beyond saving, I would ready myself to take his place. Will you take up his burden, should he fall? Oh, banish the thought that such a great man should perish. But if he were to pass... Yes. Yes, I believe I could. I must. You sing a sad song, Hunwald of Lincolnshire. A son robbed of his father's protection. Now desperate to prove his honor. How far will you go to regain it? To a bloody end? Oh, indeed. I will plunge into the heat of battle to defend my father, knowing our cause is a righteous one. All right, young lord. My clan has need of me just now. But when I'm ready, we'll find your father together and right the wrongs you've suffered. Ah, you are the chieftain here. I suspected as much. God praise you, Eivor. I won't be leading you into the heart of a shield wall. But there will be danger. I want your word. You will follow my orders to the room. I am yours to abuse. If it comes to that. I'll wait for you in my safe haven, Bottleston to the northeast. From there, we shall make our way to Lincoln. Goodbye, Lord's boy. Safe travels. God bless and keep you all. I fear I may be escorting that boy to his own execution. That might shut him up. Rolo, returned from Francia already. This is a surprise. Is the Lady Esther well? She is. Had a rough few weeks upon our return, but she is on her feet and with her family. And I am looking for a new adventure. If I remember right, you said I might find it here with your clan. That's right. Your presence is much needed and well appreciated. Settle in, and we will sail soon enough. I would like to reorganize the crew. I must be on my way now. Goodbye.
sounds coming from Sounds coming from that old church. Show me what lies ahead. <laughs> Someone there. to the one true king of Briars. If you have a problem with me, show yourself. We away the Lord of Crowlin, trespasser. Leave or die. I'm not going anywhere until you cowards show your poxy faces. Insolent spirit! Kill this usurper! Three, I'm awesome. 